Hey guys, it's Full Guys here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. It's still a bit hoarse, of course, because of my cold, but in front of me today, I have a box of 2005-2006 Upper Deck Flare Hot Prospects, which would be a product that a boss gets. Uh, check this puppy out. Five cards per pack, 15 packs per box, 75 cards total. Look for one rookie auto or rookie patch, two game use mems, four rookie cards per box on average. The problem with the rookie cards is there are 174 rookie cards in this tier checklist, which means you have a 3% chance of hitting the target of rookie you want. Also, the true Crosby rookie card, uh, card number 276, would have to be an auto patch. It's only numbered to 199, so it's a fraction of a percent to hit that short print. Nonetheless, uh, the rookie class does have Crosby, does have OV, does have Dion Phaneuf, and Corey Perry, and Lundquist, Parise, Crawford, Duncan Keith. Uh, probably the best rookie class since 1951-52, which was the rookie year in terms of card collecting of Richard Howe and Saw Chuck. Base set 1 through 100, and then you have your hot prospects, your prize prospects, and your patches uh, in your tier uh, checklist. Let's slice and dice it once, twice, thrice. Uh, old school product, man. You don't see these breaks very often of this 2005 2006, typically because they're very expeased balls because of the rookie class. Uh, but let's do it, man. Uh, there is a seal which we shall unpeel. And here would be our box, uh, certainly dated uh, in a sense. So let's see this. Let's see what's within here. Uh, we have some advertisement. There would be the Flare Ultra and be the OV. Uh, and then a bunch of packs, Jack. Let's see what we have within our possession at our disposal. Uh, kind of cool, right? And of course, Goalie Mojo, I, I first have a Roberto Luongo. Kind of cool, Shanahan, McCabe. Uh, Michael Ryder, who I believe I may have an auto of his in the background somewhere. And this one would be Eric Cole. Pretty cool, right? Sort of loving it, kind of crispy. Crispy look, a bit dated, um, look definitely busy. Uh, not the most substantial cards in the world, but uh, still, nonetheless. Let's roll right through, guys. Saku Koivu. A Jackman, I believe. There's Dominic Hashek. Brendan Morrow, and there's Marty Brodeur. Here, I'll continue on the left side. Being superstitious about it for some reason. There's Kovalchuk, hey Duke. Here is a prize prospect, and it would be Andy Roach. Andy Roach would be our first prize prospect. These are number two, 1999, 1999. Andy Roach was undrafted. Uh, I think he's a pretty diminutive player, at least 5'11", so not particularly super tall. Uh, played only five NHL games, I believe probably uh, ostensibly, unilaterally, uniquely with your St. Louis Blues. There's Jaguar, there's Yashin, and there is Iggy. See there's styrofoam at the bottom of the box there as we roll through these. I believe these are all base again. There's Jumbo Joe, Dougie Waite, Marty Turco, and Brian Gionta, Marcus Naslin. Nazi. On to the second column. The first column was a bit sort of neither here nor there. Let's continue on. Steve Sullivan, and we have a Hot Prospects uh, materials, Hot Materials of Timo Helbling, who played defense. He was a defenseman. Uh, not too familiar with this old school cat. Played with the Swiss team. And Timo, uh, I believe, was a sixth rounder, so probably did not play that many NHL games. And we do have our hit. <laughs> And our hit is Cam Ward. We actually hit the rookie prize prospects of Cam Ward. Huh. And it appears to be a white patch of some sort. 
Uh, it is a, so this is a decent one to hit. It is an actual auto patch of Cam Ward, which is number 258 of 349. That's not bad. Goalie Mojo in effect. Really decent one to hit. Uh, obviously a Stanley Cup winner with Carolina in 2006, presently on uh, your Hawks. That's awesome. That is a solid, solid, super solid one, and it would happen to be the auto patch version. Uh, which would be higher up in the numbering. It's a true rookie card. Very, very happy with that. So Cam Ward, um, I believe he was a first rounder, believe it or not, sort of a late first rounder. What's amazing about Cam Ward is the fact that he's 23rd all time in our game in wins at this point. So he is a big deal. Uh, it's one of the better hits I could potentially uh, hit given the fact that there are 174 rookies. Continuing on guys, Joe Sackick, Pronger, Raycroft, and Rick Nash, who himself was a first overall. Ward was picked uh, 25th, I believe, in 2002, as I have Marty St. Louis here, Hall of Famer. And we have another prize prospects, and it is Mike Green, another decent one. That's awesome. So this guy is actually a pretty decent one as well. Cool. So our rookies have been fairly decent thus far, I must say. Mike Green was in the OV draft in 2004. He was also a first rounder, a really late first rounder. I believe he was 29 uh, as the sirens start blaring in Brooklyn, New York. So that's a really good one to receive as well. Uh, he, of course, is with Detroit now, but have played many years with Washington. Fedorov, Minyaki, and there's Eliash. So we're down to our last uh, lot of cards here. Uh, really, really happy with the auto patch of Cam Ward. That's pretty much as good as you can get uh, beyond the, uh, you know, Jeff Carters, etc. of the world. Uh, the gets laughs, etc. Jagger, and here's Steve Sullivan. Man, that's awesome. Continuing on. Eric Lindros. Oh, here's another prize prospects, and this one is of Josh Graton, who's, I guess, a little bit of a lesser player. Played on the Flyers, so you probably remember him from the Flyers, or from the Phoenix Coyotes, so that's who Graton would be. Do we have any more hits at this point? We do have this blank. <laughs> Chetan, Manny Fernandez, and Hemsky. Two more packs, guys. Really, uh, really happy with our auto patch. Not much of a reveal there, I just sort of pulled it out. Vukun, Lupul, oh, we have another hit here. I'll put this one aside, keep a little bit of suspense for the end. Although we might have another hit in this one as well. Huh, here, let's see. How, how to sequence this stuff is always the, uh, the question. And I think we have one more rookie card. There's Heavy Bulin. And it's number to 1999, so of course this would be a base rookie, prize prospect, and it would be Greg Zanin. Greg Zanin would be our rookie card. Zanin was a fifth rounder, a Nashville guy, a Minnesota Wild guy, I believe he was on the Bruins for a stint. And then here we go, we have our last card here, no idea what it is. We have um, Medano, uh, we have an Ole Jokinen, uh, a Vinny Le Cavalier, Vincent Le Cavalier, and then we have... It's a Ryan someone, so let's see who it is. Hot Materials. So this is a base sort of materials, and it is... Oh, cool, it's Ryan Suter. That's awesome. That's really good. Amazing. Everything to me. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Cool, man. So this is actually a great break. Our hits are wonderful for the most part. Okay, guys, time for the recap. Now that was an above average box, in case you're curious. In terms of base for face, up in this place, we received a nice chunk in front of our monk. Uh, some 65 base out of the 100 base set. We received these cats here, for example. Jumbo Joe, we received Jiggy, we received Vinny, we received Iggy, Manny, and Saku Koivu. Uh, I did not see any parallels. I'm gonna miss them. There are some parallels you could potentially get. Uh, if I did miss them, put them under the video. Comment, please. 
With regard to our hot prospects, microphone check on the hot prospects, we received uh, a few of them. I think we guaranteed four of these. Number two, 1999. We received Josh Gratton, uh, Gratton, who was actually undrafted by Philadelphia. We did receive Andy Roach, who was a D who played up in Germany. Uh, Greg Zanin, who you might remember from, I guess, Ottawa drafted him in the fifth round, but he played almost 500 games and he was definitely serviceable. Plus, we received Mike Green, who is probably one of the better sort of D of his era. Uh, you remember him, I guess, for the, from the Caps and so on. He was drafted in the first round, late in the first round. Uh, played Has played, what, 800 games at this point? 500 points at this point? Something to that effect. Uh, microphone check 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 so those would be our prospects uh, all numbered to 1999 no parallels within them uh, with regard to our hot materials we did receive a Timo Hellbling uh, bling 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 uh, so here he is uh, this cat here uh, was a D again I think he was drafted by Nashville in the sixth round and played in the Swiss A League uh, that's a nice little orange patch as well as the Ryan Suter who was one of the more important rookies from this rookie class of course he's actually one of the best D of his era so nice to uh, get him he was actually seventh overall was Ryan Suter as you may or may not recall what else did we receive we received something that made me super happy we received the Cam Ward auto patch rookie card uh, he obviously is one of the most important rookies from this rookie class lest anybody forget this cat not only won the Stanley Cup in his first year he won the Conn Smythe in his first year the only goaltender I know who's done that in recent times since Patrick did it is Patrick. So uh, that's why he's a bit of a thing uh, now, of course, obviously, on your Blackhawks. Everything to me, everything to me, everything to me. But this is numbered to 349. It is a legit to quit uh, rookie card. And of course, I think he's now 23rd all time in our game in uh, W's. So this is a big deal for me as a goalie to receive um, one of the most important goalies from that rookie class along with Lundqvist and uh, Crawford, etc. Guys, if you're curious whether this is a good box, bad box, average box, a hot box box, this is certainly an above average box when you receive an auto patch of a known player, known quantity. This cat's 23rd all time in wins uh, in our game. Uh, he surpassed Gump Worsley. He's, I guess, trailing uh, Rogi Vachon at this point. Um, but this is this is it, man. And by the way, guys, please provide a like. Please provide a comment. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to be critical, please, you know, please don't be cynical. Uh, I just spread the love with regard to our hobby. I try to value every card. Uh, if you can, if you want to buy this box, certainly buy it under $100. Don't pay more than that. Uh, I happen to be Fulton Cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Whoa! Thank you.